Today is May 17, 2022. It is a Tuesday, and today's day 98 of Blender. And today I'm going to touch upon this skill in which I'm going to import some 3D models from some past days into one new Blender file because I want to be able to use um, a few things. So for example, I want to be able to use this scale um, from day 97, which was yesterday, and I also want to be able to use these beakers over here. Um, I'm not really sure where I have them. Okay, day 83. Um, I want to be able to use this big beaker right over here on the left um, in and basically have them in an all-in-one file. So after doing a little bit of research, um, turns out you just have to basically go to the files that you have, right? So I'm going to go to File. Um, I'm going to export it as an FBX file type, um, which is um, the standard file type for um, 3D meshes, I guess, if you could call it that. Um, so I'm going to call it scale.fbx. I'm going to have it in my downloads. And then I'm going to just close this out. I already have it saved. Um, and then I'm going to go to where my bottles are. Um, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do file, um, export um, as fbx. And I'm going to call this beaker.fbx. And I'm just going to exit out of there. All right, and now we have you know our original file that we're going to work in today. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to import this time in FBX. And I'm just going to go to Downloads and just select those two, and they should appear here. Now, it's interesting to see the difference in scalings that I use in Blender. As you can see, I'm not, I don't really scale to real life. Um, so I'm going to delete that, um, and then I'm just going to try to select all of this and just move it along the y-axis. I think I messed up a little. Hold on. So I'm going to try, oops, I don't know if I want to maybe hide this domain, domain for beaker. I don't think we even, let me do that. Let me hide it, and then I'm going to try to just select these things here and try to just move it on the X so we can have that there okay so now we have you know the things that we have um no way oh this is the domain I was like no way is my thing like that okay um let me do alt H to unhide that um let me turn on my shortcuts Okay, so you can see top, I mean, bottom right here, the keys that I press. Um, so I'm not sure, let me call this, this is the domain for the scale. I'm not sure if I want to keep these. I'm honestly not even sure what I want to do today. I just knew that I wanted to use those beakers and I also had wanted to use um, the scale. So I, I just don't know which. I'm just very interested right now in what I'm going to do. So the idea was I just wanted this big beaker right over here. So I'm just going to delete this one and delete this. Actually, oh yeah, I'm going to delete this one. And I'm just going to scale this real, really, really, really small. I'm going to do shifty to have a copy and then just select this and just kind of move it somewhere over here. And do GZ to move it upwards. I don't even know where it is. Where is this thing? Okay. Um, X over here, G on the Y to kind of put it in the scene over here, G and Z. Okay, so we're going to have it around here. Um, the plan is to, let me hide this domain really quickly. Do I have, what about the other domain, the domain for the beaker? Let me delete that one. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to remove. Oh, I just don't want to. This one, I think I have it. If I go to physics properties, um, I don't even have... Oh, the file doesn't save. Oh, so these are two different... Um, uh, interesting. So I think, yeah, that makes sense because usually there's cache files. Did they say cache? 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 I don't even know. Um... So I guess I'm going to have to start saving those files along with the blender, ac the actual blender files, like the liquid, because um, those are not saved. So I'm going to have to do that again. So 
Mm, I think I'll just, I mean, the liquid is there. It's just the settings are not, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I want to have the beaker instead of this. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. I'll delete this. I'll see if, you know, I'm going to delete this as well. Oops. <gasps> That's not what I meant. Um, X for delete. Um, this is, I'm going to delete this too. Um, I'm going to just, just select these two things and turn on face snapping and just snap it kind of over here and put it a little bit in the center. Um, I think that's good. Um, definitely maybe scale it downwards on the side. Um, and then I would turn off face snapping and you move this. Honestly, hold on. Before doing that, let me select this and this and... No, not the light. Just the stone, the beaker, and then... Not G, R. Rotate it on the Z. I think that's good. And then just move it a little bit. Um, on the Y here. Alright, and then, um, I think we could set things up here. Um, if I go and look, let me see this real quick. I'm going to save it as today's date, so 5 17 22. Save Blender file. Um, let me go to Cycles. I mean, not Cycles, Render View, but like, it's not Cycles yet. So, hopefully, it doesn't crash. Alright, um, so if I go over here, go to Cycles, I'm going to see, so it doesn't have the cool SBSDF, so I'm going to go in at that, so Material Properties, um, change the surface to Glass, turn the roughness a little bit downwards, um, and then we have this one, and this is kind of also kind of glass, or is it glossy? It's glass, but the roughness is like really like it's kind of rough, you know. Um, and then, all right, let me go to just material properties just to see. Um, this is the mesh, so let me move that here, so it should be inside. Um, I'm gonna go to physics properties, fluid. Um, do, 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 it's a flow. Um, I'm gonna do liquid, and I'm gonna do. Yeah, geometry. I want the geometry. And then the beaker is going to be the effector because it's the object that's being affected. I'm going to say it's planar and give it a subsurface. I'm sorry, a surface thickness of 0 0.5. All right. And then, and then, and then, and then I do have to create a domain. Did I delete it? I have a domain, right? Okay. So I'm just going to move this domain a little bit up. And by a little bit, I mean another way up. Um, turn on snapping just so it snaps to the ground there. Okay. I'm going to go to fluid and set it to domain, set it to liquid, and select mesh. I'm going to do control S to save these settings, and then I'm going to hide it real quick, and then really quickly... I'm just going to hide this and hide it also in render view. Um, am I missing anything? I don't believe I am. Where's the domain? Where did I have it? Okay, right here. So I think we're good. Oh, only thing is for the domain, which is going to be the actual liquid, I want it to look like water. So I'm going to give it a glass BSDF. Um, and a roughness of literally like almost nothing. Um, and then for cycles, I'm gonna go to light path so the rendering is a little bit nicer. I'm gonna set direct light to four and indirect light to one. Um, and then is there anything else that I would like to do? I think that's it. So let me do control S and see if this works. Um, so let me click on the domain, go to physics properties, go all the way down. 
go to modular and then click on replay and then click on is resumable and then hopefully this works and it's probably not working because it's going too fast and when something is going too fast in blender it's too good to be true so it's not working all right um let me exit out of here because there's just no way that this thing is actually working Yep, as I said. Um, did I do everything right? The sphere... Where is this? Oh, that was the other sphere. Whoops. Liquid geometry... I mean, should I hide it? Or maybe what I can do is, uh, control A and apply the scale to everything. Um... Oh, then also maybe just in case it doesn't work, I could get it add a solidify modifier for now, um, and then just whoops, 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 whoops. I need it to go. Never mind. Just never mind. Whatever. Let me go to wireframe. Click on domain. to zero, go to physics properties, and change this back to replay, and then click on play. There we go. See? <sighs> okay. That's probably too little. Interesting. So here is the problem. It's almost as if it's just like a cylinder inside and that's not what I want. So how to fix this? Maybe turn off is planar and see if that does anything. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, what was I even doing? Oh, yeah, 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 I knew that. So modular. Nope, not all. No, not modular. Replay, man. Go back to zero. Play. Okay, much better. Hopefully it doesn't get out of the mesh. Maybe we should do more. What do you think? What if I, like, scale it to be bigger? Alright, so I think that's a good test. I think that's actually really nice. I'm actually going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to do scale on the Y. You know what? Maybe I don't want it to be water. Actually, what if I do want it to be water? Because I'm trying to do like a simulation. I don't know. I'm just trying to do something like um, I'm working on a project. I'm not even working on a project. I'm just like, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even there to explain. Um, it just, I'm trying to do kind of a sort of animation. I don't know, like, on like moles, like for chemistry, like, um, like how to calculate um, moles. And I don't know if I want to do like I I was I was gonna do milk or maybe I could do lemonade like concentration or like how many moles of sugar are or maybe how many grams of sugar maybe I'll do sugar I don't know how to do sugar though I don't know how to do liquids so how am I supposed to do that and I do how many grams. water of H2O, so then how many moles of H and oxygen, maybe? Is that a question? How many moles in water? Like, how many atoms of each type of hydrogen, oxygen, and water? The molar mass of water is 18.02. Well, yeah, that would be both the mass of oxygen and hydrogen, right? Because 6, it's 19, 18, 17, 16, 16, 17, 18, right? Because oxygen is 16 grams, and then it's 18 because there's two hydrogens, because it's H2O, and hydrogen is 1, so 16, 17, 18, that makes sense. 
Um, but then, if that's the molar mass, then the mol to mole ratio would be for one mole. For one mole, if we have like, wait, if I have like, um, like let's say a hundred grams of water, then how many moles of water do I have? Because if it's eighteen point zero two grams per mole, then wouldn't I just do one hundred divided by eighteen point zero two, right? Because it would be like. I can't believe this is turning into a chemistry lesson. I'm like, okay, okay, let me just let me just do it real quick because, yeah, sorry, like everything I do has to be connected to something else. If not, then like it's a problem. All right, um, let me see. Grams to moles. Why? Just why? Alright. Alright, so let's say I do, um, okay, so let's say I have a beaker. That is the most ugliest thing I've ever done in life. Okay, a beaker, right? And in the beaker, I have some H2O. And I put the beaker, I obviously zero it before putting the water in. But as I'm scaling it, Um, let's say I have a hundred grams of H2O. So the question is, so the question is, one second. All right, where were we? So if I have a beaker, um, I zero it out before putting it in scale, and then I add water, um, H2O, right to it, and um, it's weighing 100 grams, right? So the question is, how many moles, how many moles are there? Is that how you phrase it? How many moles of H2O are there? Yeah. So in order to find, I'm just making this up as I go. Hopefully I'm right. We'll try to figure it out. We'll try to figure out how many moles of H2O are there in 100 grams of H2O. So, kid you not, I don't understand why my handwriting is like this. I do not promise in real life my handwriting is actually pretty it's just that I'm using a tablet that even though it's wired and not Bluetooth it's still lagging Jesus Christ okay anyway it's still good anyway um how many moles of H2O are there in 100 grams of H2O so I like using picket fence which is a method right so you put your given here and you multiply it by what you're looking for um, divided by your conversion factor um, and your conversion factor is basically um, your molar mass so the first step is to find your molar mass so at this point, your molar mass is, you, you basically take, if you have H2O, right, you take each element and you write it here, 
and then you write how many there are of each element. So hydrogen, there's two. Oxygen, there's one, because it's automatically one. And then you write, you go to the periodic table, and you write the mass um, that is set. So for hydrogen, you can round to one. Um, I round to the tenth place. And then oxygen, I think um, it is 16, right? Or is it 17? Is it 16.9, or is it 15.9? Let's look at it, periodic table. So oxygen is over here, and oxygen, one second, you're gonna see it in one second once it loads. Yeah, it's 15.9, so that means it's 16, and then hydrogen is 1.07, so yeah. 16, what happened? Where am I? Someone tell me, I'm so lost right now. Okay, so oxygen, is 16 so then we have 2 and then we have 16 and then we add that up add up those masses and we get 18 so 18 grams 2 grams 16 grams so essentially molar mass so this is our molar mass 18 grams so it's basically yeah it's how many gram it's how it's the mass in total that we have that's interesting actually so then why is it 100 grams oh because interesting 18 grams if i have 100 grams of water and the molar mass of h2o is 18 grams Yo, this actually doesn't make sense. Am I, like, not... I'm probably having a blink moment right now. If I have 100 grams of water, and the molar... and the mass... Nah, this just doesn't make sense. And then the mass is 18 grams in total of H2O. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's because... Jesus Christ. I don't know how many H2O particles I have... Wow, Sarai, Jesus Christ, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, so now that you know your molar mass, I'm just going to plug in the values that we have. So what do we have given? We have given 100 grams um, of H2O um, okay, times... What am I looking for? What am I looking for is how many moles of H2O. Um, and then the conversion factor is 18 grams. Oops. 18 grams of H2O. And then basically this right here is what we call our mole, I think she calls it, my chemistry teacher calls it mole to mole ratio? Hopefully that's right. So it's basically the same thing as saying, okay, for one mole of H2O, there's 18 grams of H2O. Right? So... That's the same thing we wrote up here. And essentially, you would just have to divide 100 by 18, right? Because your grams and your grams cancel out, and you're just left with moles of H2O, 100, and then 18. Because this is just 1, right? So that's the math part of it. Um... So it's, it's literally just a hundred, whoops, divided by 18, um, and it's a hundred moles of H2O divided by 18. Um, and, put that into your calculator, because I'm not going to do that by my, by my head, or in my head, and that's a uh, five- Point six. We're gonna round to the tenth place. So five point six moles of H two O. Now, what does this mean? 
This means, this means, this means. Why is it not writing? This means that I have 5.6 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power atoms of H2O. And it's not even writing down. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. So, yeah, that's basically what it means. Because if we have one mole, one mole of anything is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, right? That's one mole of anything, okay? And so if we have 5.6 moles, right, then that means that we'll have 5.6 times one mole, which is that 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power which is Avogadro's number. Now, you might be asking if 100, if there, for one mole of H2O, there's 18 grams of H2O. Interesting. Actually, no. Okay, it's fine. So, essentially, this is what I want to animate. I want to animate all of this um, in Blender. So, I want to do the actual animation, right, with the beaker and everything in here. So, I think that'll be good. Um, hopefully I'm right. Ho okay, you know what? Let me just try to find... <gasps> oh my god! Maybe tomorrow I can do, like, um... I can write a function in Python that does grams to moles conversions for me. <laughs> because I need something to to double-check my work. Um, so... Hopefully there's a grams to moles calculator, maybe? Maybe so, maybe not. I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, how did you know? So, the molar mass... Okay, chemical, maybe... Should I have used 18.015? What did they say? I don't even know. So, mass 100... 5... Oh my god, not me getting something right and coming up with the problem in from... Oh my god, stop it. I'm actually really proud of myself. Stop it. Literally, stop. I'm actually really excited. Okay. So, yeah. Oh my god, I came up with that by myself and I solved it right? Ah, literally, 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 what? It was 5.6, right? I rounded, right? Right, 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 right. Let me just double check. We love doubting ourselves. Okay, hold on. Why is it taking five hours? Okay, no, seriously, something is wrong with this laptop. It's like, why is it like this? Okay, yeah, 5.6. Um, but yeah. All right. Okay, but my thing is, I'm not even sure. If I'm, okay. So if, if like I say, like for example, a dozen means 12, right? So just like a dozen means 12, one mole means 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So if I say that I have a dozen eggs, it means I have 12 eggs. And if I say I have two dozen eggs, it means I have 24 eggs. So if I say I have one mole, it, it means I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of whatever. And if I say I have two moles, then that means I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times two of whatever, atoms of whatever substance. So if I say I have 5.6, right, by that reasoning, I have, that means I have 5.6 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of whatever the substance is, of H2O, right? Right? I just wanted to double check that that made sense because I um, don't want to think of anything. Oh my god, I'm actually really proud of this because I really struggled with this. This was the one topic that I didn't understand my sophomore year of high school. Um, I just had such a hard time with moles. Like, I kid you not, I did not understand anything. I, it was so traumatizing. Like, I really, it was like, it looked so complicated. Like, calculus was easier than doing moles. I'm going to be so honest with you. Anyway, so this is what I'm trying to animate. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I probably should do more, like, more liquid. So maybe I'll go here to zero. Oh my god, not me doing everything by scratch. Look at me go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What was I going to do again? So, you know what? Let me stop with the liquid simulations because they take a really long time. And instead, why is it clipping through? So ugly. Literally bye. Okay. Why are you clipping through? That's the important question here. And you're also clipping through here in the bottom. Is it because you don't solidify modifier? Like, what's going on with you right now? You shouldn't even be clipping through, what? 
Is it because I never apply them? Oh my god, are you kidding, Sarai? Why don't you ever think? Nah, bro. Actually, yeah, I should have done that. So I should have done solidify modifier and then actually give one to this one as well. Ew. Okay, nah, that looks, that just looks, that's vile, to be so honest. Wait, is it not a font size? I think there's no object data properties. <gasps> what? So those files also go out the window? That is insane. Okay, well, I'm just going to bring it a little bit like that, and then go to modifiers, and then just do one so that doesn't look so ugly. Wait, no, I don't like it like that, because then it's... Wait, 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 wait. Yo, I am so confused right now. Kid you not. <gasps> oh my god, the control R didn't work. No wonder. I mean, look at the B. Like, literally, what am I saying? Someone come and get me because... Control minus, right? Okay, there we go. So now it's off. Now we put that back to where it was. Turn on space snapping. And then actually done for a check back. It snapping. Snapping really dry. God, jeez. Okay. There. And then kind of push it back towards the ZX. Not the Z. The G. Jesus Christ. I can't speak today. It's embarrassing. Okay. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay, 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 I'm so excited. So I'm going to apply this by doing control A. And then that's a bad habit of mine. I don't apply anything. Control A. Okay. Good, 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 good. So that's fixed. Um, and then okay, I want a hundred grams, right? So I'm gonna do shift A, I'm gonna go to text. I I wanted to paint today, I'm not gonna have enough time. Um, okay, rotate 90 on the X. Nope, 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 on the Z. Z stands for Z, by the way. Go into edit mode to actually change what it says. I'm going to do 100. Get out of edit mode, bring it um, GX, bring a little bit up. Um, I think I'm going to turn on snapping. And scale it down, and then turn on space snapping. And then just right there, and scale it up. And I don't know, I don't know the same font size that I use. So if I go to object data properties, which is over here, if it's a font, and I go to font, and I go over here, regular, I'm pretty sure I use this one, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. Okay, and then I can scale this. Does that look ugly? Maybe if I move it downwards. Maybe I have the G's, the G, like, smaller. How does scale look? <sighs> Chemistry cannot even spell. If you know me, you know my weakness is spelling. I literally will never be able to spell an actual word. Chemistry, what? Oh, scale. I mean, I guess it was a scale no matter what subject it is. Maybe there are different types of scales. I don't know. Well, obviously there are, like, you know, the way to go, which I mean, like, in the academia world. Oh, the G is very small. Interesting. Alright, so, I guess I'll just, um, I probably should have added buttons, too. I should have added buttons, shouldn't I? I don't want to add buttons. What if I want to add buttons? Kidding, do. Alright, um, I'm just gonna make this real small, then, I guess. And then not only that, I just want it to be, just want it to be aligned. I feel like it's not aligned. And then also go to material properties and go to base color. Please tell me that there's a dropper. Yes, right here there is an eyedropper, and just select the same color over here. Are you kidding me? Is it not showing up? Why? Oh, it's green. Interesting. So, oh wow, that's actually really amazing. So you know what I just realized? If I import um a model um with the colors as an fbx right that's the file type import fbx yeah it imports the colors and so even if i'm in solid mode you can still see the colors but anything that i add after that for example the 100 i still have to go into material preview to actually see the colors which i think is very 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 amazing i think that's really cool um okay but here's the thing usually um it's not just gray it's kind of static so maybe 
maybe it's white instead of gray I'm not sure maybe something like that I think that's a little better um and there's also like if you look at it it's like kind of it's very static and like what's that font that they use <laughs> talking as if never mind bro um okay maybe I should do some buttons what do you think so I think I'm gonna do right um on and off I'm gonna do a zero button to zero things out so um I'll use that something like that so on off units re zero is that what they call it re zero Interesting. All right. Um. What was I doing again? Okay, I'm kind of trying to look at the buttons here. Well, can I look at pictures? Okay. On zero. And then kg kilograms, and then. I guess. All right, so I don't know. Should, should, how do I do this? Okay, Control S. So if, if I want to do a button, I might as well just do a cube, scale it downwards, scale it on the Y, scale it even more downwards, scale G on the Y to move it over here. Um, oh, I have snapping on. Whoops. And then just move it outwards here scale it kind of like that um also scale it on the x just look at it like that scale it on the x um scale it on the y kind of like that but just whoops move it over here um hmm should they have rounded buttons i don't know i don't know Okay, maybe they all scale it. Maybe I'll just, oh, I'll have it like this in the center. And I'll do shift D and move it on this over here. I don't even know, is that aligned? Hold on. All right, where were we? So I'm going to, um, I just kind of look at it this way. Turn on snapping and then just select both of these and move it kind of over here on the X. Okay. And I don't even know. Maybe I should do okay, so turn that off. And then I'll move it a little bit more inside the uh the X. And then what I'll do is I'll do shift D and I'll let that go. And then I'll just possibly select that and then do control minus so that this I can scale it down. And maybe it'll work like that. <gasps> no, this. Please and thank you. I can't even see. Something like that. Is there any way that I have a bevel to look ugly? <laughs> Is the question. I think that's really nice. Um, oh really, so now you don't want to apply the same material? It's ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm going to turn this off. Let me get this and then apply the same thing over here, a bevel, and just change that. Wait, what? Oh, seven. I was like, what's the difference here? Alright, and then I think we're good on that aspect. So, kind of scale it a little bit like that. Wait, what? Is it like that? If I add a bevel like this also, like seven, and scale it 
like I need to see references real quick. Hold on. Go here. Okay, to the image. Okay, that's uh, it's really that's kind of like it bumping out. I need to bump out. I need. I think going like inside. Oh, and I'm not looking. I'm not seeing it right now. It's kind of like an offset. It's actually. Hmm. I think it would be like coming like that one. Kind of maybe so. Right, I think that looks much better. So on the what axis on the X, so the object properties on the X, I'm just gonna copy the same and give it the same thing. Same location on the X. Okay, I think that's good. And then I'm gonna do um let's see. So on zero maybe. So I have on and then off on zero tear. Um, okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, um, I'll go over here, I'll do shift A, and I'll do, uh, text, and I'll go to object properties, and rotate it 90 on the X and on the Z, go into edit mode, and then just do on, scale that real slow, and just, over here, I'm gonna turn on, snapping on, and then just kind of move it over here. Um, probably should put on this side actually. Scale it more like downwards. Scale it like this way. Move it over here. And then probably give it um, black. Color, which we won't see just yet, and then maybe I'll do a line. Do I know how to do a line? <sighs> Possibly not. Honestly, that's actually an interesting point. How do we do lines? I could do a small plane, then I could do that, um, and just scale it on the X to be very, 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 very thin. Actually, we can scale it so that. It literally has zero. Oh, never mind. 0 0.01. I can kind of see it. I don't want to see it though. What was I going to do again? I'm going to rotate it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Um, rotate here on 90. No, zero. Rotate on the Y90. Not 9. 90. Thank you. Scale it on the Y kind of like this. Scale it on the Z a little bit. Like this. It's a very, 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 very thin line. Scale it on the Y again. And if I look... Where did it go? Okay. Look a little closer. Scale it on the Z so it's very thin. The Y like this. And then I'm going to move it on the X. Over here, move it on the Y over here, and actually scale it on the Y so that it does a little bit like that. Move it on the Z axis, and then I'll do. Are you kidding right now? Where did it go? So you need to be, you need to be on the X right here. Thank you very much. All right, and then on. And just do shift D. Go and put that over here. Go to edit mode and change it to uh, zero. And then I'll go here and just change. I'll do shift D and move that over here. And go to, nope, go into edit mode for this one and click on and write off. 
And then I'll go to geometry if I could ever find it and give it a depth of like 0 0.01. Um, and then I'll do the same for these two. So I'll give it, where am I? Oh, 0 0.01. Zero. All right, and I think that's good. Um, and then if I go to material view. Ew, it looks so ugly. So I want it to be thicker. So I'll go to font over here, and I'll see if I can get some like thick right here. This is a good one. I'll scale that up. Okay, let me turn this off. Um, and then also give the same to this one. And also the same font to this one. And then the line disappeared. So I'm going to go to... Oh, it's a point. Okay, so I'm going to have to add a simplify modifier. Um, and then probably do one. And I still don't see it, so probably 0 0.04. I literally, where is it? Why is you like this? Am I, am I, am I blind? Is that the problem? Oh my god, it's literally not even out of it. What? Why is it like that? It's supposed to be K okay, 140? It's not giving, honestly. And if I go to material properties, I should add a black something like that. And this should move a little bit like that. And probably be bigger. I think that's good. Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I could um, make the buttons a certain color, like a... Uh, that's so gross. That's, like, actually really gross. Um, let me see. What type of styles do they have? They have black, but my mine is already black. <gasps> oh, interesting. But then that would create a problem because I don't... I can't have a plane... No, I can't do that. Mm -mm. So, how about. <gasps> Wait, I could do like a glow in the dark. What if I make this an emission instead? And. Yeah. And then. But if I go to cycle. But it's not gonna work in cycles, it works in Eevee. Because I think I just go to bloom. Yeah, but I don't know how to get that to work in cycles. Um, if I do intensity. So it's kind of like that. You know, and if I just go to Eevee. You'll see it like that, but it's not the same because then the glass VSDF doesn't work. So is there any way... What is the cycles equivalent to blue? Are you kidding? 
Oh my god, the day that I learned how to spell is going to be the day that everybody's going to fly pig because play, I just cannot. Hmm. So, then I have a boom feature built to the render engine. Instead, we add the boom effect in post production. So, after your render has finished, go to the compositing workspace and check use nodes. Between the, ra the render layer node and composite node, add a glare node from the filter. You're kidding me. What is bloom? According to bloom, is an effect that is caused by cameras and accuracy to focus. In normal conditions, the camera can focus well enough, but when excessive amounts of light is added, the bloom effect becomes much more visible. The effect is the most visible in areas of great contrast, such as um, from an overexposed window. Oh, so that's bloom. That's very, very nice. So it's used to kind of create that shadow of light. It's really beautiful. Bloom is an attractive effect that is often- yeah, I just said that, totally. Uh, oh my god, wait, that's what we see when we are in traffic with all the red lights. I told- I- oh my god. Literally, I thought it was just me. We can also fake bloom in most image manipulation softwares. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What is that supposed to mean, a ray trace engine? Who do you think I am? I have no idea what that means. Okay, a ray trace engine- oh, just thank you. How light travels and does so pretty well, so well in fact that if we want a scene to look photoreal, we have sometimes to add post process to mimic the faults of a camera. Bloom of light travels the of a camera isn't part of the ray trace calculation. We either get it with a real camera, or just going to affect effort. You know, we have to check boss to add bloom. It's like supposed to be a post processing effect to have a trace. Wait, so I can do, if I do liquid simulations, actually, never mind. Um, in Blender, the glare node is really at the heart of creating bloom for cycles, but keep in mind that it's a separate tool within Blender. There is no stopping us from using another compositor like Nuke or Nature, and we can even bring a render to 2D image and create bloom there. Blah, blah, blah. I thought it was a way to focus on the compositor. Like, this is a little work that we used to take a look at the effect. Boom effect, so that's the glare. Interesting. Okay, so I'll try to replicate the same exact thing using cycles, because in cycles there's 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 none of that. So, um they want me to finish, like they do they really need me to finish the do they need me to render it? Like why is it necessary? Compositing. Oh yeah, I do think, because then it's not gonna pop up here, so that's an issue. So let me just finish modeling. Ew, 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 I don't want to be here. Sculpting is literally traumatizing me. Um, where were we, Leo? Okay, let me go back over here. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was looking at the colors. Um, isn't there- why aren't scales black? Like, what? I don't see a black scale. Why are they all white? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. But here, I can't do that. Like, I can't do that blue thing because it's already too late for me to do that. Um, so I guess I'll do, like, really, like, white buttons, I guess. Like, I had them. Um, let me go to material. Just do all the way white. And just have, actually, I could just make FFF the hex color for white. And then do the same thing. I'll do FFF for white. And then that's good there, and then, um, and then I'll render, maybe, maybe so, I don't know. I don't want to be here right now, and by here I meant the rendered, the render view, not actually here. I love being here. Anyway, um, let's look at three. So there is liquid inside, isn't there? But I need it to be water, so <laughs> I need this to go away. I need this to be shade smooth, so now it looks a little bit more like water, and I need it to be like, I need to get its life together, so yeah, that's kind of what we need, but I need it to be bigger, so that's a problema that we have to solve. I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm just going to um, scale it even more. Um, I'll scale it on the X, so, and then I'll do control A and apply the scale. And then I'll go back to the dome. By, I'll go back to zero. Click on the domain. Um, I'll go. I'll take off the emission from here. 
and I'll go back to principal BSDF and I'll go back to the domain, go to physics properties and I'm going to go all the way down modular replay and then I will play that and then I'll render it irritating it's literally getting out of there which is so annoying okay so what I'll have to do is it'll have to apply a solidify modifier not a mirror a solidify modifier okay and just make it a little whoa why is it like that it's so irritating I need it to be thicker on the inside. Or actually, I kid you not, I don't even know what I need it to be. I, like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like, what is this? Let me turn this off. What did I say I wanted to do? Oh, okay, solidify. If I do one. If I do negative one. I'm so confused, honestly. Like, what did what is this thing doing? <laughs> one. Okay, it's on the outside. I need to be on the inside, so negative one, right? If I increase this, why is it doing that then? Okay, I think that's good. And what could happen is, it'll look ugly now, but what that'll do is that it won't let the uh, the mesh get out of there while I bake it. So let me click on the little cube over here, which is the domain. Go back to zero. And then we'll delete the solidify modifier once this thing works. And I want there to be more water than there is right now. I probably should apply the scale, I forgot. Yep. I should have applied the scale. Hmm. Is this thing like joking? Look at it. Why is it so thick? Did I apply a solidify modifier here by accident? Oh my god. Why? Tell me why is this happening? What is this? And why is it so thick? I've never in my life. You're joking, right? When did I ever do that? Tell me. Someone tell me because I would love to know. Are you kidding? <sighs> so, oh my god. This is like actually pissing me off. Like how did that happen? That's so, so saddening. That's like makes me so sad. That like makes me actually so sad. Like how in the world do I fix this now? Like, what? Is it because I applied the scale? No, because I'm, I kid you not, I'm literally so like... Are you... You're done. You're literally done. Like, cancelled. That's it. It's over. Like, are you kidding? 0 0.01. That's too big. 0 0.001. That's too small. Uh, okay, and then move this up. And then 
Are you kidding me right now? Is this a joke? Are you, like, serious? Oh my god, why? Oh, kid you not. I'm about to cry. 0 0.001. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm literally... I am, like, I kid you not, I'm, like, actually getting stressed. I am getting stressed. Maybe I should take a break. I should take a chocolate break. I should eat some chocolate. Um, where was I? What was I even doing? Okay, physics properties, modular, replay, for the 5,000 time. Maybe this time it won't get out. Oh my god. It keeps getting out. Oh, it's because I don't have his planer on. Are you jet like, are you kidding? No, because then when I had his planer on, it, it came in like a vertical thing, which was a problem. Why? Why is there a problem with everything? I really do need a chocolate break. I'm going to be right back while this renders. Where's my sandal? Oh, it's because I forgot to put it at 64 resolutions. Oh, I forgot. did absolutely nothing. Alright, so let me do it again. So, zero... I don't even know what to tell you at this point. I should have just stayed with the cup. <coughs> um, let's do 64. Let's go to zero. Click on the domain. Modular. Replay. Are you literally getting? Okay, at least it's working now.
I kid you not. I'm literally so confused right now. Okay, so let me exit. Let me go to like what, like 30? And then, ugh, what I'll do is it looks so ugly. Okay, I'm gonna hide this. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Actually, I don't even know. It looks like, like, I don't know. I kid you not, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let me close this so now it looks like something normal. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. Let me look at it inside. Okay, wait. Oh, I was gonna render it. EV. It's supposed to be. Yeah, Evie, it's not gonna show up though. Wait, I don't want it in Evie, I want it in Cycles. I'm so confused. Do I render it in Cycles or Evie? What did the guy say? Okay, yeah, render in Cycles, okay. It doesn't really matter where I render it, I'm just gonna render it now. I should have saved it for this. I really don't know what to do today. I mean, it is 11. Should I paint? Should I not paint? I mean, I don't know. The hours is just not going to be clear. It looks like some. It just looks like a blank. Okay, so. No way, right? Like, they would the rest. School bus. I've been wanting to paint for an entire week, but I'm sleeping. I'm like, oh, like one bus. I'm not gonna have a favorite. My favorite. No, I'm busy, so I don't go here. Oh, let's go to Starbucks. Give me a minute. Okay, let's go to Starbucks. Okay, let's go to Starbucks. Did I even render it? Couldn't I have just done this myself? You're joking me right now. I literally- I am so sick of it. The fact that I can't think for myself is insane. Okay, glare.
okay add glare like why didn't i think of this like i thought that i had to render i thought i read that i had to render um it first before doing this like so this shows up but no oh actually maybe i did have to right because this is showing up is it done oh yeah that's why oh so i did have to render okay good i thought i was like going crazy um all right and then what in the world is he saying mm. so add viewer over here somewhere so i'm assuming this goes over here too Um, excuse me. No, that's not what I want. I want it on the 100. Oh, this sucks. supposed to change this and how am i supposed to target this and like where am i supposed to put it i have so many questions um so this goes here i'm so confused i'm like actually confused the image goes there which goes there which goes here but this one goes here this one goes here, then also goes here. I am so confused. Did I mention that? So, fog low medium. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Um. What the heck? First of all, I am so confused. Um. How do I target the location? This doesn't make sense, but okay. Glare type. We have several to choose from, and we can buy multiple clear if we want more than one of these effects. So, okay. For bloom effect, fog glow will most likely work best, but sometimes we want to you know, dramatic for example, a combination of fog glow and ghost. Interesting. Oh, kind of like a. That's very nice for like a like if you're like making, um, an animation or a, or a blend where like something is like going really fast, you can capture the shadow and not not the shadow, but like it's. Well, yeah, it's reflection. Or trail. Um. Blender manual. Shows a little effect that your is brighter than given value. You can see that the default one is just made sound confusing. Yes, it is. <sighs> Gross. <laughs> oh, couldn't you have told me that? Yo, I'm literally so annoyed right now. It's not even funny. So, if I go to. I had it as a mission. And then don't tell me this is a mission. Mm, I had this as a property. Oh, I do. Okay. <gasps> okay, compositing. So I'm pretty sure. Ew. Get out. Wait, let me go to material. Let's Anyway, that's fine, I guess. Um, I, I don't even know what to tell you, honestly. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to render it again. And hopefully it does something. I'm just so tired. I really, really want to paint. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to paint because it'll take so long. Literally, if I do like a canvas painting, it'll probably take me six hours before I go to sleep at night. Anyway, so I don't know how many six hours in before, but it happens sometimes. If not, then it makes it literally and it's really bad. It literally takes. Oh, do it great. Um, where to be is great, but I know it's there. It's supposed to be. And I shall not be painting. Maybe tomorrow. I keep saying maybe tomorrow, and I never actually do it. Not that I never actually do it, I never get a chance to do it. You know, I can make a game on it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of looking into Unity. By looking into it, I'm watching tutorials, tutorials of game lot people that I don't have. But, um, it's not all about it. I'm game, but like, attractive. Anyway, I'm going to